I've been waiting to show you how to make a simple mayonnaise. Why? Because it's so easy. You don't have to buy it. And a few of you have had problems. It's the whole emulsion or the whole idea of the emulsion that you're having problems with. And the emulsion in a fresh egg mayonnaise is the egg and the oil. And once you understand how that all comes together, you'll have confidence. Now, somebody that didn't do too well was Alvin with your coleslaw. It is the first time he's made mayonnaise, you can tell, and that's not the best coleslaw, I'll be honest. So with that in mind, Alvin, come up, and you're gonna help me with the mayonnaise. Okay, Alvin, yeah. this is amazingly simple. You're gonna laugh. First of all, nice little blender like this, this little canister blender. Mm -hmm. It's very fast. Instead of having to use a whisk, which you can, you can cheat and use this baby, right? One tablespoon full of mustard, nice and heaped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, good. Mustard is an emulsifier, mm -hmm. so that's gonna help emulsify the egg and the oil. Two whole eggs. Ah. Whole eggs, not just egg yolks. A lot of recipes require just egg yolks, okay, and that's classic, but the egg white helps it bond and bind as well. And there's nothing worse than having recipes with egg yolks only, because what do you do with the egg whites, right? Two tablespoons full of a sweet vinegar, in this case, a white balsamic. And I like that little bit of sweetness, and because a lot of the bought mayonnaises have got added sugar, people get used to that flavor, but it's actually quite nice, because it's the whole acidity and sweetness thing at play again. Pinch of salt. Now, because a blender is so fast, unlike whisking by hand, which is slow, you can put a large amount of oil in to start off with because the blades spin, bang, hundreds of times within the first few seconds. I'm gonna put in a good measure of oil first, right? Click the lid on, start it off. And just give it a, you know, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, on. You can see it coming together, right? Turn it off. All right, and you can see this, it's not split, even though it's thin, right? See how it's all emulsified together? Mm -hmm. So you can use that as a good indicator and you put another quarter of the oil in, turn it on. See how it smooths out there? Turn it off. Add another third of the oil. Turn it on. And give it another 30 seconds. Same thing will happen. Now, see it? That's it. And again, you can have a look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, it's nice and smooth. Add half of that. Turn it on again. Looking beautiful. Okay, done. Now we want this really thick, right? But see what's happening? Oh. It's so thick now that the machine's having trouble just mixing it around, okay? So remember that if your mayonnaise looks particularly oily, you can add a little splash of water or vinegar or lemon juice just to sort of bring it together because it's the water that will also then act as a sort of a medium to allow it to emulsify. It becomes too oily, it will split. Turn it back on. Oh. Okay, done. Wow. Does that look a bit different to your mayonnaise? Just try, don't eat the whole lot, but just, just try that. Dip your finger in it. And obviously you can season that the way you want. Mmm, creamy. Really good. It's a great mayonnaise. It's just very simple. You can add whatever so flavour you want into it. But remember, use a little canister blender like that. It makes it very, very easy. I'm not even going to bother putting it into a container. <laughs> I'm done. I'll see you in a minute with your Waldorf salad. Thanks, Gary. Cheers, mate. <laughs>